Well, new tonight, Faith Academy and parents of a student say that uh, police say that was sexually involved with the teacher have reached an agreement in the civil case. It's after an intense war of words between attorneys, and that's for two sides. Our Shelby Myers is at the Breaking News Center now with this story. You've been keeping an eye on this one, Shelby. What's the latest? Yeah, Lenise, after Faith's lawyer threatened sanctions against attorneys for the student, the two parties have agreed on three terms. First, the family of the student will present a letter from her counselor stating that remaining on the school softball team will be good for her. Second, Faith Academy won't require the student or her family to sign a release and hold harmless agreement to stay on the softball team. And last, the student will continue digital learning for the remainder of the 2023 school year at Faith Academy. According to these court documents, you see attorneys for the parents of the student originally accused Faith Academy of trying to pressure her to leave the school and quit the softball team. In response to that, the attorney for Faith Academy called the accusations baseless and conspiracy theories in those court documents. Former Faith Academy teacher and soccer coach Jonathan Sowers is accused of having a sexual relationship with the student. He's been charged with one count of a school employee sex act and one count of a school employee sexual contact with a student under the age of 19. Court documents say he confessed to having sex with the 16 year old. Sowers has pleaded not guilty. He bonded out and was allowed to move in with his parents in another state. Now, as far as the civil suit, a hearing originally scheduled for tomorrow has been canceled since the two parties did reach those agreements. At the Breaking News Center tonight, Shelby Myers, Fox 10 News.